In today's video tutorial, <laughs> I'm laughing because I know what's coming. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PowerDirector to create a cube, rotate it. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to be a pirate. <laughs> I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki, and yes, we're going to be like Captain Jack Sparrow for a moment. <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you like these video tutorials, don't forget to click subscribe, give us a like, and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload new content. So what we're going to do is we're going to take PowerDirector, we're going to create a cube in PowerDirector, rotate it, and at the end of the video, by just changing one element of this, we're going to turn it into some skull and crossbones. Now that's piqued your interest. Let's open up Power Director. Let's get pirate creative. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Power Director. Let's bring in a color board because here at the top, because we can, so that we can see what we're doing a little bit better. And um, I'm going to find something that's pretty interesting that looks nice let's drop this down onto track one let's spread it out a little bit so we've got plenty to see so th this is our background and now we need to go to our title room because we want some text now and we're going to drag in my 3d title and we're going to drop it down onto track two like so so now you can see it's three-dimensional, it's really nice. Now while this is selected, you click on Designer here, or you can just double-click with your left mouse button to open it up. Now, if yours looks like this, then on here you can see Express and Advanced. We can start with Express, but we're going to need to go to Advanced sooner or later, so it's better to go there right at the moment, so we don't have to keep clicking this mouse button all the time. So here we are, my 3D text. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the the text font here. And the font we're going to be looking for, as you can see, it changes immediately. And we're going to just go all the way down. And the font we're looking for is called Wingdings. And they're here. Uh, now I have three on my computer. Uh, it's the, the first one is the one without the number on. It's this one. Your computer should have this on it. I think that these are universal. So that is our wingdings. You can see they're, they're pretty cool, right? So let's increase its size to 150. Now it's looking really cool. And right at the top here, where it says select object, you see that T, it says my 3D title here. We're going to select all that and just press N, lowercase n, on your keyboard, like so. And now we've got our square. Now we're going to move our mouse here until it changes to the crosshair and we're going to send, make it center. You can see those purple lines? Now it's central. So this is what we've got. It's not really a cube at the moment, so we're going to change that. So let's change font paragraph now for font face and you can see extrusion i'm going to make this to 65. 50 might be good let's have a look at 50. it's not really a cube 65 is good for me i like that that's good we're not going to change any color let's close that up now we're going to go to our 3d rotation settings Take the Y rotation, the middle one, and just rotate it just enough so you get that nice 3D effect like so. And the X rotation, you can just change it so it looks a little bit like that. So now you get this 3D effect. If you want to do the Z axis, that goes like this. It, it's entirely up to you. In fact, we'll drop it on the Z axis as well, just to show you what it looks like. So now we've got our cube. Let's close that one up. And now we're going to go to our 3D textures. Now these are presets, um, add texture. You can actually bring in any texture that you have on your computer. You can actually bring in a photograph of yourself and put it on every side of this cube. <laughs> that is just something else. I'll leave that for you lot to play around with. I'm not putting my face on that. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one here because this is like crumpled paper. This is pretty sweet. I kind of like that. That is cool. And we're going to close this one up now. And this is what we've got. And we're going to now rotate it. So let's go to animation here in animation. And we're going to go all the way down. Now, these are quite difficult to see unless you spread this out a bit. But what we want is a spin, 3D spin horizontal. Now, there's several. There's this one. They're kind of the same, really. I don't see much difference in these one or two. And then you get that one that goes around its axis. And that one goes up and down. I'm going to choose this one. This is the second one. It looks so nice for me. I'm not quite sure which one. I'll leave it on this one. Leave it on one. Choose whichever you like. <laughs> it's just good. So let's just run this and see what happens. So there it is. It comes in. It spins quite fast. And then for some reason it stops. And we don't want it to stop. and uh, Because we want an in and out animation. But here's the thing. We've got our animation set for in animation. I am going to grab this line here down on the timeline. This one. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the end, like so. And then I'm going to drag this one, and I'm going to drag this one all the way to the end, like so. And now when we play it, it comes in, blurs in nice and slowly and spins really slow. Look at that. How cool is that? I'm going to click OK because I, I like that. That's on our background. Let's see it run now and and see what, how it looks here. And there you go. It's got a nice 3D spin and it just keeps spinning and spinning until it gets to the end. And we're good. Okay, let's drop. Let's change this and drop this all the way down to the start of the cube, end of the cube, sorry. And that's it. So now we've got this. Let's spread this out a little bit so we can see. Can we see that? No, that's not changing anything. That is weird. I wonder why it's not doing that. Ah, no, it's doing it. Okay. So this is what we've got. That was weird. So you can see our cube, it's named this lowercase n. So make sure it's selected. Go back into designer or double click. We'll click back in designer. Now this is the fun part. This is what we've got. You see the letter n here right at the top. Follow my mouse all the way up here. You see that n? Select that. And there's the trick to turn it into something very, very pirate-like. Shift N or a capital N on your keyboard and watch what happens. Boom! <laughs> Skull and crossbones, capital N. Click OK. And there you go. You are now Jack's, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> that was so funny. So there you have it, messing around with wingdings, they are so much fun. That's my rant for today, have a great day, stay safe people.